So this is what you want to do. First thing you want to do is, believe it or not, you get into your fuse box here. And you want to check the relays. This relay for the fans. Because believe it or not, if the fans don't work, it won't cool it down. Um, this is actually the horn relay. This is the fan. So what you want to do, the easy way to troubleshoot is take this relay out, pop it in where the horn goes. If you push your horn and it works, the relay's fine. Second thing you want to do is you want to check your fuse. All right. This blue fuse here would be for the fans. You want to just pull it out and you want to check the filament inside, make sure it's uh, completed and it's not burned out. Okay. After you do that, what you want to do is you want to see if the fans are good. And the way you prove to see if the fans are good, when the engine hits about 95 degrees, the fans will kick on. My issue was my fans were not coming on. So a quick way to prove if it's the fan itself or the actual, there's a coolant right here where my finger's pointed. This uh, gray thing is connected to. It's the coolant uh, sensor switch. Um, so what you want to do to prove that is you want to just take it. There's a little tab you squeeze. You want to pull this off. Pull the plug off. Hold on a minute. Okay, you get the plug off. And you can see inside the plug it has two pins. What you want to do is you want to jump the pins from one to the other. So you're going to take a paper clip, just like this, with the two ends. Remember, if you have these colored paper clips, you got to peel back the, the plastic, all right? And then you're just going to basically... You're going to plug it in, jump it from one pin to the other, all right? Then you're going to go over to the car. You're going to get your key, turn it one click, turn your AC on, all right, you don't even have to start it to run it, and you can see the fans are going, the fans going, all right, both fans, so we know the fans are fine, and that's just proving it right back to that sensor, so come in here, turn that off, Remove your paper clip. Okay. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to have to get yourself a 24 millimeter socket. And you're going to come in here and you're, you're going to take this sensor off. Okay, after loosening the sensor, I'm going to reach in. And you're just going to remove it slowly. You might have a little antifreeze come out. That's okay. All right, here's the old one. You're gonna go to your local parts store. You can see it here, pretty basic. And you're gonna reinsert. Go nice and easy, make sure you can catch the threads, do it hand tight. Make sure that gasket's on there. And you're gonna give it a snug fit with your ratchet. You don't want to go crazy and over tighten it, but give it a nice snug fit. And you're basically going to take your plug, you're going to line it up. And you're going to snap it right back in. Okay? And that's it. That's as easy as that.